Hey everyone, Cody here, and I'll make this video quick. Um, I've been getting asked the same question quite a bit recently, and I've talked about it before, but just to answer this specific one to help people. Um, this is how I made my scraping tool. Essentially what this is, is it's just a sheet of plexiglass or acrylic. I say acrylic and some people get confused because um, they think I'm talking about paint. No, acrylic is this, in this instance, acrylic is kind of like a, it's like a plastic alternative to glass. So it's very durable, but it's a lot cheaper than glass. And it can be heavy, but it's not, um, you know, it's it's just not as like brittle or, you know, as heavy as glass. So, uh, but it's still very durable. Uh, it's actually what they use, I believe in that show, tanked, the shark tanks, or I mean like the fish tanks, the big ones. So a lot of fish tanks are actually acrylic. So there are glass ones, but uh, if you ever notice, like when you tap on it, if it sounds like plastic and not glass, it's acrylic. So acrylic is actually, uh, you know, again, plexiglass is kind of a major manufacturer of that. So it's just a sheet of plexiglass or acrylic. If you go to your hard, hardware store and ask them for acrylic sheets, they'll probably know what you're talking about. You could say plexiglass as well. I got uh, this sheet of uh, plexiglass or acrylic from Home Depot. Um, and this is a... I think a one foot by two foot. Uh, they have them in all kinds of sizes. I wouldn't recommend trying to cut it because it can like snap or crack. Um, so I just bought it in a one by two sheet, but I also have a two by four sheet for larger scrape paintings. Um, so I do have two different ones. Essentially what I did was then I bought these just two small scrap pieces of wood. I think it was actually just one piece and I cut it in half or whatever. So I made these little handles. They're nothing fancy. Um, they're just two small pieces of wood that were comfortable for my hands. So if you're looking um, for, you know, the size for the actual piece of wood. It's whatever is comfortable for you. I think this is like one inch by two inch or something like that on the thickness, or it's probably like three quarter by one and a half if you want to get technical. So though, you know, the wood doesn't really matter. It's whatever is comfortable for you. Essentially what I did is I used wood glue to get these on here. I, I believe I used wood glue uh, because some other glues don't really like to take to the wood. Um, so you could try like super glue or flex seal or something, whatever you have, you, you can try whatever you want. But here's what I did and I want to kind of caution it. Okay, so I initially, when I put them on, I, I put the glue on so that it was on there. But then on the back, you know, I put a couple of screws in each one. So two, one on each end and then screwed it into the acrylic so that it would pull it tight, right? You could also clamp it, which would probably be the better option, but I didn't know any better. So I drilled, uh, or I actually put a screw in uh, each end of this, um, of these little wooden handles. Here's the problem with that. Um, acrylic is kind of like glass in the fact that if you drill a screw into it, it does uh, have a possibility of cracking. So you could kind of do one of two things. You could not use screws, and like I said, you could just put on a very uh, thick, heavy, um, industrial type adhesive like wood glue or some kind of super glue um, on here to keep these in place and then use like clamps or just use a heavy weight something very heavy just set it on there um, for a few at least a few hours but probably like a day or something so it can set um, so you could just not use screws only adhesive and you know be fine or you could run you could try to use uh, just very short screws to kind of keep it in place um, although again, it may crack. What you could do, um, I have not tested it, but in using drills before, um, a lot of times the smart thing to do is to pre-drill. So you would just use a drill with a, a very small, very thin uh, drill bit, like a wood bit, and you would just put a small, you would just drill through it with that, um, probably through both, through the wood and the acrylic so that you can, um, you know, pre-drill that and you have a less of a chance of it cracking. Because um, a lot of times, it doesn't matter if you're dealing with wood or plastic or glass, if you don't pre-drill something and you just put a screw into it, uh, sometimes that can lead to that screw stripping out or cracking, you know, the surface depending on what it is. I've had wood split, I've had, you know, plastic split. Yeah, if you're going to use screws because, you know, whatever the adhesive that you're using is not working very well, 
my suggestion would be to pre-drill at least the acrylic, but probably both. Just pre-drill the very, very thin drill bit so that you can kind of get a little bit of a pilot hole and then drill in just a very short screw. I'm talking like half an inch if possible, but depending on how thick your wood is, you might be able to go up to an inch, but I would say at least a half an inch or something, just enough to get it in through the acrylic into the wood to kind of sink into it. But that's really it. I mean, it's very simple to make. I'm not even that handy and I was able to make this. So if you can just get a couple of strips of wood, uh, some very good maybe wood glue or very um, strong adhesive, and then, you know, the sheet of acrylic or plexiglass. Uh, ultimately, it probably costs like $30 or so to make this whole thing, um, but I use it all the time. So for me, it was worth the investment. And it being two foot, um, I know that I can buy canvas that is two foot or smaller, and it's going to be able to cover that whole thing. Um, now, lately, I've also been using the paint shield, um, and that's, that's very cheap or easy to buy. Um, I actually don't have it right here. Um, I actually have it way over there, and I don't feel like getting it. Um, but the paint shield, I got it from, I'm pretty sure it was Walmart, but you probably get them from hardware store as well. And that thing was like $8. And I've actually had some good results with that. So, I mean, uh, that's also another um, kind of thing to go with. So, you could definitely try that if you don't feel like sitting there making that big old, uh, you know, sheet of plexiglass to, to make these paintings. I only made that because, you know, that's similar to what Gerard Richter does and being a big fan of his work and kind of learning from that. I wanted to use something similar so that I could kind of understand um, how he did it. So um, that's pretty much it. I will leave the video at that. I just wanted to cut in with this, this quick video on the scraping tools, how I made them and what I use because a lot of people have been asking. So uh, hopefully that helps. And that's it for the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless and see you then. Bye guys.